Hello everyone, my name is Holden, and welcome to a new type of video. So before I, like, started doing, like, streaming and stuff, I used to make theory videos, the top 10 videos. Uh, they aren't good. They are very, very not good. So I decided, hey, what if we decide to react to them? It's been, like, over a year since I posted my first one, so, like, might as well. You, you guys know my, theory, my like, voice when I do these kind of videos? My, like, super boring voice? Yeah, just imagine that with a terrible mic and even worse. Yeah, these videos were not good. They were really fun to make, though. They were, like, and the, and the footage for them, the visuals, were literally, like, PowerPoint presentations. And I'm serious. They were, they were literally, the, they were literally made on Google Slides. They were fun to do, though, so so I guess let's just go right into this. My hair probably looks terrible, but you know what? That's okay. So first, we're going to be reacting to my very first theory video, Termina is Flat. So this was kind of meant to be like a joke theory, you know? And um, it's basically me explaining how the world of Termina from Majora's Mask is flat. It's like the whole flat earth thing, but in in Zelda. So we're just going to go straight into this reaction. I'll just go right into it. Let me see the mouse. This video is meant to be a joke. I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do. I also noticed how I put, um, I actually like said it was a joke. I don't know why I did. Whenever I like make a joke theory, I always put that it was a joke. I don't know why. Anyway. Termina, a land of masks. Music, scary looking moons, and annoying fairies. Got the terrible. What if I told you, there's like the white this box around a dark it. Dark secret that Nintendo does not want you to know. After much research, I have discovered that. God, this voice, this old, this old audio. Oh, it's so terrible. It's just like I, I like went back when I used like um microphone on my headphones. Ugh. And then my like. My very boring voice that it happens in theories, you know? Welcome back to another theory video. My name is Holden, and welcome back. Is I need to fix that flat. voice. It is. It is flat. Let's see the difference between a round planet and a flat one. Got the music in the background. Like, like this, globe. this is before I had an editing thing. So that's why I'm using Google Slides for footage, and I had my phone right by, like, uh, right next to it playing music. Now this looks pretty flat to me, but let me explain it to you in case you don't believe me. <laughs> the map. This is a map. Oh, this is a flat map. Looks pretty flat to me. So here by the ocean, this dark area, this is space. And there are waterfalls going along the edge. That's so now stupid. as you can see, Zora Hall is right in the edge of Termina. So, how do they not fall? Well, there are Zora. They're excellent swimmers and can swim up the waterfalls with ease. True, so my whole thing of this part was that uh, it was like the flat planet, and then like on the Great Bay, there was like a waterfall going off the edge, and since Zoras can swim up waterfalls, then they'll fa they'll be fine. Claims young Zora, who have not mastered waterfall climbing, would fall into space. It's like you the would... whole point of this is like, because in Breath of the Wild, this arm, this is like armor's like kind of like a wedding gift thing, and um, my I, my whole point was that the point of the armor was the reason they made it was so that people who aren't Zora who live in Zora's domain won't fall off the edge of the world. Want the person you marry to fall off the edge of the world, would you? Now, as you know, a round planet is orbited by a moon. So how does this work in Termin? So the moon does not my orbit graphs. a flat planet. So, I just had like a, I just had a whole like graph thing on here. Straight down and crash into the planet, just like in the game, and it will destroy everything. Yeah, because if you don't know the whole story of Majora's Mask, the moon is crashing into the planet, and my whole thing was like, because on in a round planet, the moon would just orbit the the planet. But uh, if this terminus is flat, the moon just crashes into it because there's no way to orbit it. Now let's talk about Which is what happens in the game. In the game, you have to this defend the ranch from, stupid. A, from an alien invasion. Now we live on a round planet. 
Have you ever seen an alien? No, you haven't. Aliens only attack flat planets. Which is why they attack Termina. Guys, I'm telling you. And what is Termina? Termina is flat. Now, God, there so is stupid. a character in the game known as Flat. Yeah, if he is one of the Why would someone whose um, name be Flat live on a round the planet? Composer Brothers, who was once a composer. Now, why would someone whose name is Flat. God, live I'm just on going a round so planet? slowly. It just doesn't make sense. So that is another reason Termina is Flat. What? One of the Composer Brothers for the Hyrule Royal Family is named Flat? Oh, uh, that's just a coincidence. So in um, Hyrule, which are, are, in this theory, Hyrule is round. There is a character known as Flat, but that's just a coincidence. My now, God. why would the goddesses make a flat planet? Well, let me explain. This is so the Din and Nehru most stupid part wanted of it. a round planet, but Feyror wanted a flat planet. Din and Nehru had the majority vote, and a round world was known as Hyrule was born. But Feyror wanted a flat planet so she took a piece of hyrule and made her own flat world known as termina and hid the entrance deep in the woods yeah pretty much anything that doesn't have uh, logic in the zelda universe it was the gods well now they you know did the it. truth about oh, they ter the land yeah. called termina i hope you enjoy it and i will see you next time and there we go that was a uh, that was um my majora's mask theory all right, there's another Majora's Max here. I think we'll get to that one later. I want to go to uh, a list video. What Pokemon team can defeat Thanos? So this was made around the time Infinity War came out. So I made like a video on like what team of Pokemon could be used to defeat Thanos. Hello everyone, my name is Holden, and today I will Still be the terrible you voice. What team of Pokemon can be used to defeat Thanos? I tried to have it in the order of how which of the ones he got. Of the order he got First, the stones. Here are some honorable mentions. Or I had an honorable mention. I, I didn't even think about Thanos the possibility of the Thanos countering it. Because he has the affinity stones. He could like of his life do anything. A First up, we need okay. to talk about power. So if we want to take down this stone, we need a Pokemon who's incredibly powerful. And that Pokemon is Mewtwo. So we're basically Mewtwo taking was designed to be the most powerful each Pokemon in the stone world. and picking a Pokemon that can like equal, to equal to or is more powerful than that power than the of the stone. The stone. Evolved, so if power, power it's Mewtwo because Mewtwo is supposed to be the strongest this Pokemon. Pokemon. The best way to take out the stone. Okay, next up is space. Now, which Pokemon would be able to control space just as much as Thanos? Well, the Pokemon of space is, of course, I'm talking about Palkia. Yo, it's Steve. We're space stone portals. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Thanos somewhere he can't survive in. Okay, now let's get real with this. Next one, reality. God, this that was stone a terrible lets joke. Or change reality. So how could a Pokemon uh, which counter one is this that? One? Well, there is one Pokemon that might be able to do it. Giratina. Giratina. Now, how can Giratina change reality? Well, he is the Pokemon of dimensions. So if you can get Thanos in the distortion world, Giratina will have full control. I think. I don't know but much about Giratina's lore. Now this stone allows the God, why is it so to summon stretched? and command living or dead souls. Oh, I know. This so is um, Chandelure, is right? Chandelure. Yeah. This Pokemon has the power to literally burn spirits. Any soul that gets too close will be incinerated. They never used it in the movies, but apparently the soul stone can like summon the dead. Like souls and stuff. And since... uh, What's his name? Shedalure has the ability to burn souls. Next up, that's the way to counter we got time. <laughs> there we go. So the Pokemon that is best for now, this my jokes is are so terrible. Pikachu! No, it's Dialga. That has too strong of a brain to be affected by this. And that Pokemon is Alakazam. This Pokemon has an IQ of over 5,000. An it's IQ over 5, of 90 and 110 is considered average, meaning this Pokemon is incredibly intelligent and way too smart for the Mind Stone to take control of. I don't even know if that's but how Thanos it works. But Thanos still has one trick up his sleeve. He has all the stones. He can have whatever he wants just by snapping his finger. So that means snap, 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 snap. <laughs> Did you see the mouse? Move the mouse so out of the way. We'll need a Pokemon oh, I'm can so terrible. I'm so before terrible at this. We need a Pokemon that's so powerful that Thanos doesn't, doesn't stand a chance. 
this Pokemon is Arceus. Why? Just take, well, take Arceus. Arceus is literally, that's literally God. The final point. He created the universe with his ten thousand arms. Thanos Apparently can that's kill like things with the snap of his fingers. Arceus can do it with the blink of an eye, leaving Thanos defeated and just a pile of dust. I hope the Avengers see this video before Endgame, or they will never stand a chance. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. They'll never time. stand a chance. All right, that was my that video. Uh, what else should we look at now? These are my newer ones. Like these are these three are actually good, ish. Let's do it. I think I might do a couple more. I don't know if I'm gonna do them all. Here, this is this is so. This was my list of if Sword and Shield had Z moves, what new Z moves they could have added. Oh, the terrible music. Oh, it's, uh. Well, the music's good, but how it's put into the video and the quality. Hello, everyone. My name is Holden. Oh. Today... Oh. What's with this, like, terrible audio? Did I get a new mic or something? Ugh, what happened? I will be showing you the possible Z move for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, what is a Z move? According to Bulbapedia, Z, Z moves, moves are, holding. are just, special just move types on. of moves. Have you ever been searching through the grass and boom, a shiny Pokemon appears? Let's talk about Shiny and Z. All right. So this move would only work with shiny Pokemon. Now, how would it work? Well, maybe it would summon a rain of stars to slam into the opponent, kind of like how Swift works. <laughs> Patrick, God, I forget how terrible my Number humor nine. was back then. Let's start off with the starter Pokemon themselves. First up, Scorbunium Z. Now, Scorbunny seems to be based off a sports player or some kind of athlete. So maybe he'll jump up, he'll jump up, summon a soccer ball, and slam it down on the enemy. Go! Number eight. Uh, what's Rukium wrong with me? Z. This could be where he summons a pl where he plays drums. As loud as he can. The, the, these are literally other, their normal moves, or like gigantic X moves. That would cause an so it's kind of kind of right. The other Pokemon. Last but not least, because Score Bunny is least, we have Sobble. <laughs> Sobble seems to be based off an actor. <laughs> Dang, I just I just roasted Score Bunny. But it also has the power to camouflage. Then Sobble can sneak up and do a surprise attack, dealing extra damage. Bagpipium Z. I could not think of a better name. But there probably is one. So, you may know that the Gala region is based off the UK. <laughs> Why did I make this? And one of the countries in the UK is Scotland. Is that right? Did I, did I get that Scotland right? Is no okay, Google. Where is Scotland? I hope I got that right. Uh, Okay, UK. There we go. So that is technically right. Is bagpipe. I didn't mess up. Now Don't be Pokemon mad at me. Could play the bagpipe. So loud that it'll cause an earthquake, kind of like Grookey Z move. Down for MZ. Another thing the UK is known for is lots of rainy weather. This Z move can summon heavy rain that slams into the opponent. I, at the speed I, I did not have very good ideas, Number as you four. could probably tell. Swordium Z. This would be used by the legendary Pokemon of the Sword game. Maybe its attacks would be a rain this of is, hundreds of This is before Zashi and Zanvazenta were revealed. This is like right after the very first trailer. Going down on the enemy. Number two. Shieldium Z. This would be for the shield legendary. Maybe it'll make a shield around its body and roll around like a boulder. Number All one. Right, number one. So remember the scene from the trailer? This is some kind so of... did, did they ever reveal what this is? Was this supposed to be like um, a legendary Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe it'll be revealed. In, in I don't know. I don't. I don't gallery. remember hearing about what happened. Now this could be a reference to with this thing, the, but it may be a legendary Pokemon. Let's call it Gigantium Z. Now, if you look, it seems Giant. as though this marking shows the Pokemon using those flames to terrorize the people. So maybe its Z move would have something to do with the destructive flames that was used on these ancient people. God, that's so terrible. And there we go. <laughs> this video is so moves, terrible. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now we don't know if Z moves will be a feature or if they'll just stay in the They Lola. aren't. Moving on. They might be a. Actually, wait. Should I? Should I? Just... 
I just had an idea. Should I, um, in like one of my live streams, just talk in my theory voice, but like while I'm playing the game? Oh my gosh, wow, it is super cool that like I'm getting a shiny Pokemon in Sword and Shield right now. Whoa. That's in the video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.